Hey guys, so we're going to install a battery disconnect switch on the Hummingbird 10RK. Let's get started. First off, let's get this battery out of the way. Okay, I think I'm going to install it right here behind the compartment, right next to this junction box. I've looked behind the frame and there's nothing back here behind the frame. So you can drill your four holes and just a quick, easy mount. Okay, so I've taken the cover off the back of the disconnect switch and I've put it up here. I've drilled one hole to make it easier for me to mark it. So I've, I've drilled the hole, I've, I've put the bolt in. Now I'm gonna hold it up here. That way it won't have a chance of moving. I can put pressure up against it. Looks like the lower two the, the battery frame that the battery sets on is going to be in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drill the top two. And then I'm going to take this plate and go to the back side, put it on there, and mark for my other two. So that way I can drill from the other side. Okay, it's, uh, it's dark down here. I don't know if you can see, but I've went ahead and put a bolt through that plate. I'm gonna raise it up here, put it in the spot. And go ahead and drill my lower holes. Okay guys, I forgot to tell you at the start. Um, I'm using a four, uh, a metric four Allen wrench for the bolt heads, 5 16th socket for the nut, and then for the disconnect switch, we got a 17 millimeter socket, the two nuts inside there, and I used a quarter inch drill bit to make the holes. Okay guys, after you get your holes drilled, uh, your disconnect switch, it's got plates, usually pop out, these slide, so the way you're going to mount, decide to mount it, if you want your wires to come out the side, take the side plate out, but I'm gonna come out the bottom, so I took that out. Um, go ahead and take your nuts, nuts and uh, block washers off, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the disconnect mode so it don't spark if there's any, any uh, anything drawing power. Uh, you, just something safety maybe. But anywho, yeah, so let's go ahead and connect our two wires. The wires, the wire that is all, already on the trailer is an eight gauge. So uh, I'd say I've got a, about a 16 inch piece for where I'm mounting it. So that way it'll come out the bottom and still be able to come up and connect without having any problems. I'll still be able to slide the battery box around a little bit. Okay, when you get the your cables on the back and tightened, go ahead and put your uh, back plate back on it. snap in place and it's ready to be mounted all right once you get the bolts in all you need to do now is connect or put the nuts on the back all that's left now is to uh, slide the battery box into place and connect the battery Okay guys, just like that, you're done. Now if uh, you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I did make one little mistake that could have really bit me. Um, I wanted it nice and tight up here. Well, nice and tight on the other side, you have to give space so you can get your socket on. If not, you gotta use an open end wrench. I just barely got my socket on. So uh, you might give yourself a little bit of space there. Other than that, if uh, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you if you want this actual disconnect switch, I'll have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Just click on that, and there you go. Thanks, guys.